Up with the weights, I work. Down with the pack, I roll. Up with the sack, and you know that I deserve it. Half and half when we split the perks. Yeah, the preacher man say, please remember that your savior is on the way. Hashtag building generational wealth with you. My name is Kimelo Masala and I am the Managing Director of Rigo Wealth Innovators, a registered financial services provider. In our Hashtag Building Generational Wealth Part 2 video, we gave you a dream of how a credit score system looks like. Now, take a look at the graph appearing on the screen again. You will notice that payment history has a higher percentage at 35 percent followed by amount owed at 30 percent you combine the two you have 65 percent which translates to 650 credit score points that is huge and uh, in order for you to keep your credit score at 680 or more at all times you need to do the following pay your account on time and in full do not exceed 30 percent of your credit limit on credit cards avoid the regular hard credit inquiries on your profile have a good credit mix by credit mix i'm referring to type of credit which consists of your accounts such as uh, credit card home loans car loans and uh, it has a 10% uh, score here. Dispute any inaccuracies on your credit profile. Remember, an excellent credit score enables you to pay less interest on your loans. If you happen to have a credit card, try by all means to pay whatever amount is owing in order to avoid paying interest you will only get to pay admin fees apart from excellent credit score the financial institutions will also look at your affordability to repay the loan this is how financial institutions look at your affordability to repay the loan let us take james for instance he wants to buy a house for 800,000 and uh, he earns uh, 23,634 per month before deductions. After deductions, he has 21,500 21, that goes into his bank account. Now we need to look at his um, expenses. So he is paying rent. 1500 right there's water and electricity that he needs to pay he's spending 500 rents on both right there's uh, repairs and maintenance you know for his car that is putting aside the aside money every month okay it's 200 rents and uh, cell phone He's spending 400 rent. Okay, insurance uh, life cover. He's paying uh, 250 rent. Okay, he has a uh, short-term insurance. So this is for the car. He's paying 150. Right, investment retirement annuities. Okay, he's uh, spending 300 rent on his RA. Right, education. There's one child that is actually paying school fees for 500 every month. Okay, he has a, a, a TV subscription. He's uh, paying 100 rent every month. Groceries. He's spending uh, 1,500. Clothing. He has an account where he's uh, paying 300 rents per month. Entertainment, he spends about 600 rents on entertainment. Okay, 
Then uh, he does have a personal loan. He's uh, paying 500 per month. Right, uh, he's financing a car. Every month he's paying 4,500 on the car. So now we look at uh, his disposable income after after expenses from his uh, net salary. His net salary is 21,500 minus 600 rent on operational expenses. So that's the likes of your groceries, school fees. Then 5,000 rand, that's on financing expenses, so that's on his car and personal loans. Right, he is now left with uh, 10,200. We said uh, James wants to buy a house for 800,000. So what we need to do now, we need to switch to the bond uh, repayment calculator. Right, now we need to check uh, if he will be able to afford uh, to finance a house for 800,000. Let's change this amount to 800,000. Right, at 11.25% uh, over a period of uh, 20 years. Annual interest rate sensitivity at 11%. That is actually uh, the interest going up and down. Right. He appears to be paying if he's granted the loan he will be paying 8,394 cents with the total interest over the period of 20 years amounting to 1,214,571 rents and 55 cents total amount to be repaid that's two million rents, fourteen thousand five hundred and seventy-one rents and fifty-five cents. Right. We need to look at uh, the disposable income of James again. We just need to go back to the net income calculation that we did before. That's ten thousand two hundred. Okay. We need to change this amount to 10,200 rands, his net disposable income. Okay, what this tells us is uh, James is able to afford a maximum bond. He is actually to qualify for maximum bond of 972,117 rands and 37 cents based on his net disposable income. Then the installment on 800,000 bond, that's actually 8,394 and 5 cents. What this tells us is uh, the bank will be able to consider James's application for the bond. I hope you found today's uh... Hashtag building generational wealth video lesson educational as always. Please subscribe and share with your friends and family. See you on our next hashtag building generational wealth video lesson four, where we will be expanding more on credit. Peace. I wouldn't make it, but I made it anyway. I remember say it wasn't easy. Right now, everything is amazing. Steady driving them local. Then I'm taking my photo. I remember that they're telling me no, no. Right now.